five minutes after the day, ten minutes of food. Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's what you want. You guys are having an amazing start to your day. I've had an incredible time here at the mansion, but unfortunately my time here is done. So I'm going to pack up and I'm heading to Texas, but not before stopping at a couple really cool animal places. And first up is a place called Wild Bill. I have no idea what he has here, but I hear he has some, maybe some lions and tigers. I don't even know. So we're gonna go do that first and see what we can get ourselves into. Oh, by the way, I have my passenger here and I did decide to name him Steve. Hey Steve, buckle up. So I've reached my destination and it's always cool to see places like this just kind of all over the place that have really cool animals. So let's go ahead and see what they have going on back here. So guys, this is Bubba. Look at how cute he is. All right, so what we have here is Dutch is the Siberian tiger. Come here, Duchess. That's a girl. That's a girl. That's a girl. And look at that white cat, it's just beautiful. Of course, that's a genetic mutation, and uh, unfortunately, sometimes with that mutation, you get little other defects. Uh, even they have a lot more of a problem with their fur, and a lot of times they get like kind of a, uh, almost like a, a mangy look to them. But uh, BJ actually looks pretty good, other than a little bit of a, an underbite. Hey, BJ. <laughs> I just want to go in and play with them so bad, but I know that's probably a bad idea, but I still want to do it. Oh my gosh. Take a look at the little red fox. How awesome is that? Hey, bud. What are you doing, Sealy? And look at this one down here. This one is absolutely incredible. That's, of course, a marble fox. Oh my gosh, these things are so pretty. Hey. Did you hold it? All right, so guys, I'm in with a little bobcat named Sable. Hey, Sable. Look at this beautiful bobcat. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely awesome. Oh my gosh. If I go home, I got my dogs are going to freak out when they smell this. <laughs> I think Sable is a lover, not a fighter for sure, unlike the tigers and lions that, that we were like, I'm your friend for a second and then next thing you know they want to kill you. <laughs> but uh Sable here, the bobcat is just absolutely Look at her. Oh my gosh, you are so gorgeous. Sable, oh. oh my God, guys. I wish you could experience this because it is absolutely incredible. I love cats, I think they're amazing and Sable is just such a great animal. Sometimes it's hard to believe I live this life. I think, what, what brought me to this level where I'm just like traveling around and seeing great animals? I mean, Sable. I think I found a new friend today for sure. Come here, come here. Oh. <laughs> guys, I found another bundle of cuteness. Oh, <laughs> look at how cute these guys are. <laughs> Lori, can I take one of these home? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you're so cute. So it's a pretty cool way to start the day. Stop by and see a lion and some tigers and a handful of other animals. You know, it's difficult because when people do get these animals, a lot of times they can't be cared for because they look really cute as babies and then they grow up and people are like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? And then they end up at a rescue place like this. And uh, you know, he's doing as good of a job as he can to take care of them. But I'd like to see most of these things really in big enclosures and uh, somewhere where they're really gonna be taken care of. But uh, 
regardless, it was really it was really cool to see this place. So before I get on the road to Texas, we're gonna stop off really quick, and Tommy actually has a bunch of red stag and elk that we're gonna get to feed, so that sounds pretty awesome. It's a good way to make one last trip on animal stuff before I hit Texas, and of course, the reptile show down there for the weekend, so. Uh, these things are massive, and it's gonna be really cool to be up and close to them. <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys see this? Oh my gosh, look at these things. Oh, there's more coming. Come here, boy! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh my. I can honestly say that I never expected the day to start standing this close to these guys. Oh my gosh, look at these things. Holy moly. Look what's coming, guys. <laughs> this is freaking epic, man. Are you kidding me? Oh no! What's going on? <laughs> what the heck are you doing? <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> we got an unexpected. What? What? You never know what's gonna show up in this this these woods. What? What lives in these woods? What is going on? The thing is, it's not like Tommy hunts these or lets other people hunt them whatsoever. These are just like his pets, basically. <laughs> he just has a, a whole woods full of crazy animals. Now, I tell you, that's something that I'd be totally into. We got Billy Boy over here. <laughs> I know this is just what I needed before I head to that long road trip to Texas. A little bit of time with some awesome animals. Can I get up close enough to touch her? Look at How awesome is that, guys? Look at that. <laughs> to actually be able to touch one. It's just so cool. Okay guys, I could stand around here all day and just be in the majestic beauty of these crazy cool animals. But unfortunately, I have a reptile show to get to this weekend, so I have to get on the road and drive a few hundred miles to Arlington, Texas. So, uh, as much as I hate to leave, it's about time to get on the road. I'm about 20 minutes away from the hotel here in Arlington, Texas, and I just got a phone call from the hotel saying that there was a box that just arrived there that I've been hoping was gonna show up today. So I'm super excited to share that with you guys once I get there. All right guys, so here's the box I've been waiting for. I can't wait to show you what's inside of it. All right, so finally in the hotel room, a little more of a quaint place than the last mansion that I stayed in, but it's still not bad. We've got a couple beds. I only need one bed, but hey, there it is. Regardless, guys, I am over the top happy to share this with you. Literally two years ago, almost to the day I started a project, that project was, well, let me show it's in the box. Okay, here you go. All right, guys, here is the box. Let me open this up. Again, two years, guys, two years. In this very moment, I'm gonna be able to show you what, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> That's right, there they are. Brian and, Brian and the Wild DVDs, my documentary. Look at, it's a whole box of them. Look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 
that's right. I cannot believe it's actually a reality. Literally two years ago, we started the planning phase. We went to Africa, we filmed it, we edited it, and now it's sitting here in my hands. What do you guys think of that? Look at this. This is just so awesome. <laughs> so for anyone that pre-ordered them or if you want one, we are gonna be sending them out here in the next week or two or whenever we get everything settled and all the, cause these are just the, the DVDs. We've got Blu-rays coming in, I think the end of next week, but we'll have all of these shipped out. So for anyone that wants an additional one, they're gonna be on the BHB Reptile site. We will put a link in the description. Regardless, I am over the top excited and happy to finally be here in Dallas and to get my DVD and I have some work to do tonight. I still have a few hours of editing and tomorrow we have a reptile show. So it's gonna be really amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed all the craziness of today with the tigers and the elk and the red stag and the travel. And now the DVDs of Brian and the Wild, it's so awesome. We still have a lot of adventure ahead. Again, a reptile show and then a bunch of cool stuff for the next four or five days. Before I head back, I'm certainly missing Laura already. Regardless, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much. Make sure to smash that like button, hit the notification bell, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow with my DVD. Yeah.